It's no secret that compact crossovers are among the hottest selling vehicles on the market. And with that in mind, Ford has finally addressed its aging escape for the 2020 model year with a dramatic new design that introduces a style unlike anything else in the rest of its range. Let's take a look. Let's start at the front. Ford has attached these really clean, stylish headlights and paired them with a grille that should look familiar to any Ford fan. This could have come off of a Fiesta or a Focus. It's not a bad thing, it looks great here too. The rest of the face is flat and wide. To be honest, when I first saw this car many months ago at a design backgrounder, it looked like a Porsche Macan. Ford has softened that take. It's cleaner and nicer and definitely more American. But if we go around to the side of the car, you can see that Ford has gotten a little bit swoopier and more dramatic with the look. I love the way that the roof line curves up and over and into the D-pillar, and the way that this bit of chrome trim gets wider as it gets to the back of the car. We have a nice character line right here, but we have the normal rugged SUV-like cladding down at the bottom. It's a little bit much. No one's gonna take this car off-road, but it does sell the right message that this is a crossover vehicle. So if we move around to the back of the car, we can see that Ford has taken out the scalpel here too. This is more car-like than the front. That's by design. Ford doesn't build any more cars aside from the Mustang. But there are still SUV cues. You get this nice plastic bumper that says, I go off-road and I am manly and tough. But it's contrasted with these beautiful LED taillights. I love the way this ribbon of light just extends across. I'm less crazy about the Range Rover style lettering. Please leave that to the Brits. It looks a little bit much here, and to be honest, if I had this car as soon as I got it, I would take the dental floss and peel those right off. It'd be a cleaner tail because of it. I do like the spoiler, and the rear window size is very good too, which means visibility out the back is pretty good. When the Escape hits markets, it'll do so with two engines. This is the two liter turbocharged four-cylinder EcoBoost engine with 250 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque. It's the one you want if you want to go fast or tow something. If you don't want to do that and you're more concerned about fuel economy, there's a 1.5 liter turbocharged three cylinder with 180 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque. We found that one a little bit louder than this, so if refinement is the top of your game, this is what you'll want. If you take a look inside the cabin, the dominant material is unfortunately plastic. It's got a lot on the dash and doors and center console, and it's, it's a lot of plastic. Some of it is soft touch, but there are also some very odd touches like the doors, which seem to have a number of stab wounds for some reason. That said, the overall controls are clean and attractive and very easy to figure out. The eight inch touch screen is lovely. There's a very high def rear camera. The climate controls are very easy to figure out. Our car, this SEL, has a analog gauge cluster with a small display. There is a 12.3 inch digital cluster that is shared with the Mustang and the Explorer, and it looks fantastic. The second row slides fore and aft up to six inches, so you can get more cargo space or more leg room, whichever you need more of. The new Escape improves on the second row in every way. The most dramatic thing about the 2020 Ford Escape is just how well it rides. This is a very, very comfortable and quiet car. At freeway speeds, you're not going to notice engine or road noise or tire roar. It's all very, very well controlled. Hit a pothole, hit 10 potholes, hit all the potholes. That said, it's not all sunshine and buttercups. This car is very comfortable, but the handling is ponderous and heavy. You're constantly aware of just how much weight you're shuffling around, even though this car isn't that heavy. For most people, the handling will likely be fine. Also fine will be the two liter turbocharged four cylinder. 250 horsepower and 275 pound feet of torque is plenty for a vehicle like this. The Escape is quick and willing to get up and go, but it's not loud or noisy or uncomfortable in the way that it accelerates. There's an eight speed automatic transmission that is fine. It kind of hunts for gears, especially on the freeway when asked to suddenly accelerate like a, in a passing situation. And that's not terribly desirable, but around town it engages quickly and is generally pretty well mannered. The 2020 Ford Escape does best what customers want most. It's not a great Escape, but it's a pretty darn good one.